Acoustics features a myriad of key switch setup options, but they've all been organized into a simple, easy to understand layout so that you can take advantage of as much of the under the hood complexity as you want. On the keyboard at the bottom of the screen, you can see different colored keys, and in the key switch tab, you'll see the legend to understand them. At the bottom of the screen are the black keys which let you switch between banks. Playing each of the bank select keys automatically activates them and shows them on screen. The first option lets you specify which key activates this particular bank. For each bank, you can adjust the play range. Full is ideal for 88 key controllers. Reduced changes the play range to make more room for key switch or trigger keys. This is useful for chord picking or strumming, since you probably won't need the highest range of the instrument. You can also choose minimum, which restricts the playing range even more. If you use reduced or minimum mode, you can now place other key switch triggers on the newly available keys, which I'll show in a moment. Play mode allows you to choose polyphonic, which is the default mode, tremolo, which allows you to play tremolos via single notes or chords, but note that the strum-related trigger keys will be disabled. In tremolo mode, the mod wheel controls velocity. Legato, hammer-on, and pull-off mode allows you to play in legato mode. And legato slides up and down allow you to slide between the notes. Chord mode allows you to adjust how acoustics reacts to chords. In normal mode, chords are detected and played back normally. In play bass only mode, only the root note of the chord is played back, leaving you to use the pick trigger keys for picking patterns or the strum keys for strumming the full chord. Play bass only and alternate bass causes acoustics to only play the root note and alternate its bass. This is best shown via demonstration. In my left hand, I'll play a basic E major triad. In my right hand, I'll use some strum keys. Watch my notes at the bottom of the keyboard to get a better understanding of how this works. Finally, silent chords causes acoustics not to play any chords from the playable range of the instrument, leaving you to only trigger them via strum keys or pick trigger keys. The bottom part of the window opens Pandora's box of key switch possibilities, and everything about how acoustics is laid out and operates is easy to access and customize from this panel. You can choose any key on screen or via MIDI, then you can make a selection from key switches, forced key switches, and trigger keys, and then assign a specific behavior to that note. Here's a list of all available key switches. And here's a list of all available forced key switches. And here's a list of trigger keys. Detailed descriptions of each of these can be found in the Acoustics Manual. If you get into designing a custom key switch setup, there are all kinds of options available in the preset menu to allow you to save the custom key switch maps, recall them, and copy them across banks so that you can organize and manage them any way you'd like. Be sure to check out the other Acoustics tutorial videos for more details on how other aspects of this instrument work.